YubiKey is considered the best security key on the market right now. That's just a fact. They're not paying me to say that. But one of the most common questions I get from people who are looking to buy a 2FA key is this. Which one should I buy? Do you need the security key series or the 5 series? Do you need NFC, fingerprint authentication? What about the 5C, 5C Nano or the 5C i? If you're confused, you're not alone, but by the end of today's video, I promise that you'll know exactly which 2FA key from YubiKey is right for you, and more than likely, you'll save a little bit of money as well. My name's Josh, this is All Things Secured, and I'm gonna assume that you already know what a 2FA key is and what it's used for. The point of this video is strictly to help you choose the right key for your situation. And in the case of YubiKey, we're talking about a choice among the entry-level security key series, the Bio series, the 5 series, and the highest standard 5 FIP series. And spoiler alert, if you're the kind of person who doesn't watch a video to the end, you're probably gonna want to purchase one of these four keys. Okay, this shouldn't take long, but let's break it down into three simple questions that you need to answer for yourself. First, do you need the ability to create or use secure one-time passcodes? While every single one of the USB keys can be used as a hardware security token, only the YubiKey 5 and 5 FIPS series allows you to use the keys to store codes that you would normally get from an authenticator app. Why does this matter? Well, let's say you have an account that you wanna secure that only works with authenticator apps. It's those apps that give you that six digit code that refreshes every 30 seconds. Believe it or not, there's still quite a few companies out there who don't yet support these security hardware keys. For example, I can't use this key to secure my ProtonMail account, at least at the time that I'm recording this video, but they do allow me to secure with a time-based one-time passcode from an app like Google Authenticator, for example. But what most people don't realize is that YubiKey also has its own Authenticator app and certain keys can store these one-time passcodes or OTP that the app then decodes. I can either plug it in or if it's an NFC key, just tap it on my phone and the codes appear like magic. Like I said, this only works with the YubiKey 5 series, not the bio, not the security key series, but if you're one of those people who fears that Google might be using the, their authenticator app to link your mobile device to your identity, then this is a solution that works. So do you need to create secure one-time passcodes? If so, then go with the 5 series. Are you okay still using the Google Authenticator, Authy, or some other authenticator app? Then you can save some money and go with this security key series. Second question, do you need extended authentication support? Usually this only applies to businesses with stuff like smart card support or for those who are incredibly privacy conscious with the open PGP for email. If none of this makes sense to you, then you probably don't need it. Or if you fear somebody stealing your key and using it without your permission, extended authentication in the form of a fingerprint sensor might be appealing to you. That's where the bio series comes in handy. Unlike any other 2FA key on the market, the bio series from YubiKey allows you to configure your fingerprint so that only you can use your key. It's like setting up two-factor authentication on top of your two-factor authentication. I mean, honestly, it's overkill for most individuals, but possibly a very attractive option for business enterprise use. So hopefully by now you understand which series is right for you. Generally speaking, the, the bio series, the five and five FIP series are meant for businesses to use while the security key series is really meant more for the individual consumers. You'd probably do great with the security key series if you want, and it'll save you a little bit of money. I personally use the five series, but I think that's because I care about being able to store one-time passcodes and open PGP, but I realize that might not be the same for you. Well, that leads us to our final question. Where will you be using your security key? Take a moment to consider all the places where you might use two-factor authentication your phone, your laptop, your spouse's laptop maybe, your tablet device, which plug covers you on the most devices? And remember, you can always carry around an adapter from USB A to C or vice versa. So do you prefer the traditional USB, which is formerly named USB A, and it looks kind of like this? In my case, I need USB C, which is quickly becoming the standard for all newer computers, along with the NFC or near field connection, which I use on my mobile device. When you see those letters, NFC, just know that this is the technology that allows you to tap the key on the back of your phone instead of just plugging it in. The NFC works on iPads, iPhone, Samsung, Google Pixel, pretty much any modern mobile device out there. The Bio series is the only one that doesn't offer an NFC version. So for this reason, I'd only seriously be considering one of these four options highlighted here. 
You should already know whether you need the 5 series or the security key series, so now it's just a choice of whether it's USB-A or USB-C, and they all have NFC capability for your mobile devices. As a side note, you could purchase the YubiKey 5CI, which gives you a lightning plug for Apple devices, but not only is this significantly more expensive, I've also found that it's just as easy, if not easier, to simply tap my NFC key on the phone instead of plugging the 5CI in. The 5 Series also sells these smaller nano versions that are meant to stay plugged into your computer at all times, but I gotta say, this just doesn't seem like a good idea to me. If somebody breaks into your home or steals your laptop or something like that, keeping your 2FA security key permanently plugged into your computer seems to just negate the purpose of having a 2FA key in the first place. So unless I'm missing something, I think it's best to just stay away from those keys. In the end, unless you're purchasing for a business, I advise you to choose between USB-A or USB-C and then decide whether it's worth the extra $20 or so for you to be able to have additional support by way of one-time passcodes or smart card capabilities. If this video is helpful, the best way you can support me is by using the affiliate links you've seen in the description below. YubiKey did not pay me to say any of this in the video, but they will give me a commission if you choose to purchase their key using my link. And this is what I use and recommend to my own family and friends, I promise. But once you've received your key, check out this video next that goes step-by-step -step into how you can set up your first 2FA key. Take care.